XOXOX returning to lovely Riverside September 9th it's NCL6 with Sons of Ule versus CCK I cannot wait to see Sons of Ule and CCK I'm almost as excited about that as the return of Session Moth Martina you see the, probably the best tag team in North Wrestling this is one of arguably the best in the UK but never mind that that's next month. This is now. across nine different countries. There is no journeyman that has the story quite like Nathan Cruz. That's right, I would be remiss. I know it's very poor form to mention other companies, but if we've got Nathan Cruz in the match, the first ever progress champion. He's also competed, of course, for WWE. You'll see him around the UK as well. A well-traveled guy, but certainly not a well-liked guy. He pretty much hates everybody. He called himself the professional. That isn't the title anyone's handed to him, because no one likes him enough to do it. And be fair, name a place, he's been there, he's pinned someone, and he's looked great doing it. It is hard to be humble when you're brilliant in every way. Those are the words of Nathan Cruz. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Those are the words of Kid Rock. No, oh, no, no. That'll be Governor Kid Rock by the time this comes out. But anyway, Nathan Cruz in the main event, a place he loves to be. Big match to wrap up North Wrestling's head over heels. We thank you for joining us tonight. We have saved the best for last. Having said that, who is he wrestling? Recording of this, uh, Eddie Dennis will be a full time wrestler, which used to be as rare as hen's teeth back in the day. But the current climate of UK wrestling, Eddie Dennis has said to teaching a very secure, union filled occupation world, I am going to become a full time wrestler. 
an incredible video surfaced online of Eddie Dennis talking about his decision, saying how he would talk to the kids in his school about fulfilling their potential and living their dreams. And Eddie knew deep down as a teacher, he wasn't living up to his own dreams. He was a, he called himself a hypocrite. He is a hypocrite no more. It is day zero for Eddie Dennis. And we are so proud to have him in North Wrestling. However, now he's playing without the stabilizers on his bike, so to speak, because he hasn't got that to fall back on. So winning is even more essential than it used to be for Eddie Dennis, because if he wants to keep on making the money and getting bookings, failure is not an option tonight. He needs to start on the right foot. And a win over Nathan Cruz would be the rightest foot you could possibly ride. Beautifully said, though. Thank you. Mm. Stay classy, Nathan oh, Cruz. I think he's talking to you, Tom. You know, Probably. Like this, there's a lot of swearing on this show. You won't see any bad language from me, referee. I'm an upstanding citizen. I never knew it was from Wales. Oh, and he just was liking that chant until you until you stand up. Well, one's a teacher, always a teacher. <laughs> it must be jarring to be in a room full of people not calling you sir. Lots of people call you sir, but they always feel like well, you're making a scene. <laughs> Little insight into, into Matthew's weekends there. So it's Eddie Dennis and Nathan Cruz in our main event. Collar and elbow tie-up to get us started tonight. A test of strength. Two bulls of North Wrestling. And Eddie gets the early advantage. He's got to break it, though. He's got to break it. I love Eddie Dennis's body shape. It's so unlike anyone who is a wrestler. He's taller than nearly all of his opponents have comes across. But he's got this amazing core. Yet he's running it. He's, he is basically all torso. Sportsmanship. Right. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. I'm not one to talk, I'm just saying. Just, he's got quite the moves Dennis. as well. Oh, we love Eddie Dennis. Quite the moves as well. I bet he's so right, he can probably reach out wherever he's now. And, his Oi. and that height is going to be a great advantage against someone like Nathan Cruz. A lot of Nathan Cruz's offense, stuff like the thanks Tully, is going to be difficult when you're facing a guy like Eddie Dennis, who is... Who is just a couple of inches taller than you. But Nathan is completely undeterred by the height differential. And cheeky slap in the face. That's Nathan saying, hey, got your number. I'll break it. I'll break it for now. But I want you to know, I've got your number. I don't think there's a single doubt in anyone's mind who the fan favorite is tonight. <laughs> This is the clearest it has been all night. Collar and elbow again. Deep block up by both these guys. I think Nathan Cruz is a big spike. Trivet. Fan. That's Trivet with three T's in there. We're adding T's despite to his name as we've gone through. Every time he loses a match, <laughs> another T. We add another T. Off the ropes. Yeah. Elbow takes down Eddie Dennis. That core. He talked about it. didn't do him any favours. Bring that and a hit oh, It's amazing to see a guy that big and that tall it, doing, a, doing, a, doing a standing leapfrog. Good counter by Nathan. Oh, was it? Eddie's very comfortable everywhere in the building. I moonlight as a luchador. Christmas crap, you know what's going to come out of him. How, how can Nathan Cruz prepare for Eddie Dennis? On paper, he looks like the sort of guy that will just throw you around. But we just seen the guy do a, do a head scissor takedown. Oh, those powerful legs putting Nathan Cruz into the turnbuckle. I don't know anyone else, Matthew, on the, on the circuit 
with, who, 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 has, who has the size and the, and the dimensions of an Eddie Dennis, but he's so agile. Stuff like this. No, maybe not. Uh, no water in the pool. On the River Seven. Massive forearm smash. Takes down Nathan Cruz. And a big Welsh forearm. See, it's easy, it's easy to see who the fan favourite is. Eddie has been at the merch table, he's been at the bar, he's been drinking with the North Wrestling faithful all night. I'm impressed that he's still wrestling, even so. I like it. He's busy making friends. We are in the darkness of the crowd. Nathan Cruz, I think Nathan Cruz. Well, Nathan Cruz was ready to face Primate, which is no, which is no short feat in itself. Primate's devastating. And yeah, then to have someone... Yeah, too, just that he couldn't be here tonight, but he's still got Eddie Dennis. He's still got Nathan Cruz in the fog of war, in where the darkness and fans combine. Oh, bro. What's he doing? I think he's using... I believe he's setting him up for... I don't want to break it! A member of our North Wrestling faithful, he's armed with a wheelchair and he just used it as a weapon. Oh, exclusive footage. Handy cam footage of said attack from earlier on. Someone suggested that he gets run over now by the wheelchair, but I don't know if that's a great idea. Thanks to our fans for illegally recording this, we asked them not to, so we can do this footage. Actually, yeah, thank you, but no, no. Oh my god. That's going to affect the benefit claims. Nathan Cruz is, is having a night that I don't think he will want to repeat and could not have predicted. He is in the ring with Eddie Dennis being run over by a fan's wheelchair. But he did so professionally, I'd like to point out. Very much so. He's a professional wheelchair driver. Now, John Myers at this point should have really oh. counted them out, but he's given them so oh. much room. Whoa, my! Oh, he nugged the camera! He nearly broke the North Wrestling equipment! Right, let's come up with Peter. And to, to go back to Saxon Huxley earlier on, cheeky drink with the fans by Eddie Dennis. To, a, a backdrop from someone like Eddie Dennis, that's like falling out of a tree. Uh, yes. Again with the core of Eddie Dennis. Is, Atlas could have tried part of him. <laughs> Sorry, laughing at my own crap. <laughs> I'm very professional, but anyway. Mr. Someone's got to laugh at your own jokes. Yeah. I find that I laugh at my own quite a bit. The, the deafening silence is what started, but somebody <laughs> who isn't getting deafening silence, the big Welshman. But, oh! Springboard dropkick by Nathan Cruz has just grounded Eddie Dennis. I think it was William Regal who said the Welshman with a most fearsome people from the UK to fight with because they've never surrendered in all their history books. They've never been taken out of, and they've never given up. That's a good shout. They've never, uh, I've not known a Welsh to ever submit. I'm trying to figure out what's on Nathan Cruz's tight. Did it just say Nathan Cruz? Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, Tom. <laughs> That's a handy reminder. Expert analysis, <laughs> only here at North Wrestling. You will only find this at North Wrestling. I mean, not the side of the shield. I think he has the, the rabbits from Watership Down on, which I think is just to trigger people like me. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Massive backdrop off the ropes. He calls that the thanks, Tully. Thanks very much. No. I was going to say, Tully Blanchard used to utilize the slingshot suplex. That's a... Uh, a spin on a classic. An Omar. Yeah. Right, a quiver of a classic, if you will. See, that was the move that I didn't think Nathan Cruz would be able to hit on Eddie Dennis. Eddie Dennis's size is so disproportionate to Nathan's. Yeah. I thought that the Thanks Tully was off the list for the Arsenal, but clearly not. We've just seen it perfectly executed. I hope people know what Eddie Dennis looked like. I'm just listening to the audio and trying to imagine this weird hybrid thing that Eddie Dennis made him out to be. These are all positives. Yeah, and having that this this body shape uh, that is beyond description, as I'm finding out, uh, is to his advantage. Incredibly so. 
Snapmare off the back. Here comes Eddie. Runs straight into both boots of Nathan Cruz. And down goes Eddie. Nathan is so not out of this match. Massive, massive forearms and elbows. Snapmare out of the corner. And a huge drop kick to the back of Eddie Dennis's head. I do like what. Oh, wait, it's coming up. I do like what Nathan Cruz is doing here, though. He is keeping Eddie grounded. He realizes that he can pull into now like a magician's pocket. So keep him grounded so he can keep him doing nothing. Well, one of the most well traveled wrestlers like Nathan Cruz. He'll, he, he, he'll have moves, he'll have maneuvers, he'll have plans for days. Yep. And but as Mike Tyson once said, everyone's got a plan until a Welshman gives them the reverse head scissors. <laughs> that famous race yeah, by think, one Mike Tyson. Just before he thought of on the <laughs> Big forearms by Nathan Cruz. Oh. Eddie daring Nathan to... What do you do? Oh! What do you do in that situation with someone... Shows that uh, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd be on the A19 by that point. <laughs> oh, slapping daft, the crowd asks. And Eddie Dennis is slapping daft. But Nathan cuts him off with a kick to the gut. Pick up, inverted atomic drop. All right, in the dick. Oh, well, all legal. All that. Uppercut. Crisscross. Oh. Misses the clothesline. <laughs> Massive move by Eddie Dennis. On a clap there in the studio at that. Sorry, but I was I was very impressed by the way they were keeping each other on guard. Off guard even. However you say it, either constant bouncing off the ropes. The two in and the throw in and Nathan Cruz! What? Using Eddie Dennis's own momentum against him to flapjack him into the floor. Oh, they're going for. He calls out the gunslinger. He certainly does. And Eddie is down and Nathan is down and John is starting the count. North Western very behind the world's largest luchador. We've seen both guys pull out some of their big moves. We've seen the thanks Tully. We've seen the gunslinger. Neither has finished this contest in our main event at North Wrestling head over heels. I think it's interesting to see if Nathan is going to be able to land his finisher. The show stolen. So it will involve picking up Eddie, put him up. Oh, never mind that. The world's largest luchador! Tobacon, hello! I think that's Walsh for get out of my way. Eddie Mysterio chants. Eddie right Mysterio. We'll point out these chants because they're the ones that we can repeat. And again, the top rope. A guy, Eddie, this, a guy the size of Eddie Dennis up top is an intimidating sight for Nathan Cruz. Big elbow! Oh, that poor ring. Oh, but not enough. Getting closer and closer, though. David Cruz ring on nothing but fumes at this point of the match. Both guys have pulled it all out. They have left it all in the ring at North Wrestling. And Eddie is picking up Nathan Cruz. This is the first time these two have wrestled one-on-one -on -one anywhere in the Roll world. Up. Roll up. Oh, that was very, very close. This is indeed their first match, isn't it? This is the first time they faced each oh, other. This is it. The show stolen. If he gets this, it's our. Missed nope. the show stolen. Roll back through. German. Nope. Reverse cradle. He's got the. John Myers oh. missed that one. He's got the tights. Didn't have the angle he wanted, though, so he does able to propel him from the kick out into the ropes. Charges him into the turnbuckle. Both men are spent at this point, for want of a better term. And he's able to adjust himself. Nathan the top rope, something he doesn't do very often. Oh, a stiff forearm by Eddie Dennis as Nathan came off the top. Big back suplex. God. That was a proper old Japan 90s back suplex there. Is it a fisherman's buster? With suspense. He's leaving us all hanging. Fisherman suplex with the cover. 
Closer and closer we get to the end. Anything that involves that kind of hanging, that adds pressure to Nathan Cruz's head. The blood rushes to the top of his body. And it does so much more damage than your common or garden fisherman suplex. Exactly. And again, it actually knows how to catch fish as well. It's a Welsh thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I sure why not. And he wants to win that. That was nearly... He the... was looking for the next stop driver. Didn't get it. Nice Drop point. kick to the feet. Pick up. Ooh. Incredible code breaker like maneuver by Nathan Cruz for the two count. Wait a minute, that did not look nice. Burying his knees right into the core like of the, Eddie Dennis. Like the best roller coasters, that was not intended to be used on a man of his size. No, they must be this tall to play with Nathan Cruz. And Nathan oh. has spotted a weak spot. He knows he needs to keep the giant Redwood down. He's working on Eddie Dennis's leg. And massive elbow drop to it. This is brilliant strategy by Nathan Cruz. He knows if he can keep Eddie down. But no, nowhere near. Nowhere near ready for that. Eddie Dennis pushing Nathan away with just the power of his legs. I think Eddie before then was trying to lay on his stomach so he couldn't put in any pinball attempts. He waited until Nathan Cruz was going to go for his legs, until he had the strength to do it, and sent him all the way over the point. Eddie Dennis bringing Nathan Cruz back into this match now. Eddie does not want to count out here. Eddie wants his first win on this great new journey of his to be a decisive pinfall or submission in the centre of the North Wrestling Ring tonight. Exactly. Lots of people have been saying hello to Eddie. Some of them saying it for the first time. They bought shirts off him. They wouldn't be wearing the shirts of a winner. And regardless, I don't think this will be the last time we see either of these two guys go at it oh. in North Wrestling after this one. And Eddie's also like me to point out to everybody, uh, no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> and this Ref is going to be being very huge. generous here. Sorry, no, it's going to be huge. Big suplex off the top from Eddie Dennis. If he gets it, oh. he's got it. Oh, my God! A stalling oh. superplex. Eddie Dennis held Nathan Cruz up there for a good while, let him think about it, and brought him crashing to quote another big 80s tune straight back down to earth. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of man coming down. A lot of man coming down. John, John Myers now having to make the count because both guys are out. I would hate for this match to end with a double countdown. And not the TV show Countdown. Thank you. I think we'd, none of us wants to see that, but it would be very understandable with the superplex being the double-edged sword that it is. Eddie, you see Eddie there, he was punching his leg, trying to get some feeling back into it. Nathan has done the damage on that leg, and a stalling superplex would not help. Neither of those stiff forearms. I'm not sure he wants to go forearm for forearm with Eddie Dennis. Like Not with Eddie Dennis, but Nathan's going for it. Oof. Each time he hits Nathan Cruz, like he's had going back to the left, like JFK. Oh, back into get the, the, get the, get the leg instead. That's a much better strategy, Nathan. No! Oh, never mind. Meet forearm again. You might be familiar. And again! We're having a forearm off in the oh, in the main oh, event of North Wrestling. Hot shot off the top rope. Oh, not more. Not that move again. He's going for that code break right maneuver. He counted it, turned it into a sunset flip, and again back on the legs. In the figure four. The legendary figure four leg lock on Eddie Dennis, on those huge legs of Eddie Dennis that Nathan Cruz has spent a big part of the match working over. You're right, he's just gunned ham on the legs now. Nothing else has been working. Shoulder up by Eddie Dennis. That's a disputable count. This is why this move is so dangerous because he can knock you out. You can knock you back so much in literally reeling back to ease some of the pain. You can have your shoulders down for three. I mean, technically, Eddie Dennis isn't being covered there. But what do I know? There was a mannequin that was about to get the pinfall on the table. Exactly. So I'll be Anything quiet. goes tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm not a referee. I'm not a dancing referee. So. Either. 
Eddie's trying to turn, turn Nathan Cruz over. In, and in doing so, will change the momentum of that figure four. He's right in the middle of the ring, which is where Nathan wants him because Eddie Dennis, as we've said a million times, is a big, lanky guy. It's a big, brave thing to do a, a, a submission oh, of a guy two, that's two. all. Is Eddie out? He comes down, it's, it, it's the end. Is Eddie out? No, he's not! And he oh. breaks the ropes! Nathan's got five to break it. And there's nearly all of those fives. Rightfully livid. That was as close to a submission as Nathan Cruz has come in this match against Eddie Dennis. I don't think we've seen much of the world's, I never say the Welsh, the Welsh's largest luchador with a bum leg. Oh, small package! Big package. It's, it's, yeah, you're right. I think we should rename that the big package. Massive, massive forearm right, the by Eddie Dennis. Forearms. Hooks him up! He was oh, going for the oh, next stop driver. John Myers, then he got a faceful. And John Myers, then he got a faceful again. Ref move. Oh! Ref, man. That's a payout for John Myers. Well, the money that we are going to spend to get an extra camera for the next North Show is now oh, going to be spent on. I know. Nathan Cruz going for a cheeky low blow. Eddie has stopped it. Grab. Oh! You do not want to anger that man right now. Hooks him up. Oh, it's going to be a... He's got him oh, up top. Into powerful. the corner. It's the seven bridge. The seven bridge. Nathan's still on his feet. Just give him another move. Straight into the next stop driver. Well, that's got to be... Oh, well. Everyone's favourite bus banter related move. The next stop driver. And pun or no pun, it's near ref. Oh, what? That was near like spring. What's screw face? Right is that. It's Screwface! What are you doing here? Screwface is back! What? What's he doing here? Um, why is he got his music? Why is Screwface back out here, staring a hole down Eddie Dennis? Oh, he just doesn't care. Eddie's not bothered. If there is anybody that could go face to face, toe to toe with Screwface, oh, Eddie Dennis. Oh, and what nah. is that? A filthy low blow right from Nathan Cruz. So stolen. The match stolen. Results oh, stolen. Don't now this John. Here. Now John gets up. Oh, wait, pick it up. Pick it up. That's a current screw face. You didn't know. With screw face, almost costing Eddie the match. The match continues. What's they going to need to put Eddie away? Screw face is, is stalking the ringside area. Oh. Wait a minute. What's his delay? Nathan going for another one. Another show stolen. Oh, the green mist right in the eyes of Nathan Cruz. Down goes screw face. Hooks him up! Another! Next stop! Driver! One! Two! No! Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, man! Screwface! Me heart kind of take all this. Screwface! Has, he's entered the ring! He's attacking Eddie Dennis! Oh, why? Why is Screwface? Why is Screwface ruined our main event? And John Myers is waving this off. John Myers. Why would John it... Myers is waving the match off. Why would anyone align themselves with Nathan Cruz if he doesn't care about anyone else but Nathan Cruz? But maybe that's what Nathan Cruz and Screwface have got in common. They only care about themselves. God, they must have really hated being cheered for 10 minutes today, like Screwface. Sorry, they. Sorry. Now it's... Oh, this is... This is just sad. Is in no contest. John Myers oh. throwing out our main event. An incredible match ruined by Screwface, who for some reason has not only a massive problem with Eddie Dennis, but has aligned himself with Nathan Cruz. Wait a minute.
I'm here, Jordan and Don Black. Well, I wasn't happy to see you earlier, but I'm happy now. I'm here, Jordan and Don Black, and even in the odds, but Screwface is one tough customer. And Screwface is pretty much nullified. I'm here, Jordan and Don Black, they're coming back. You have done the street clothes on their chicken cottage gear. Amir Jordan is going to town on Screwface. Both men here to say that main event that Screwface ruined. Not many people go head to head with Screwface like that. Amir Jordan giving him what for. Don Black squaring off with Nathan Cruz. This is just descending into fast. Eddie Dennis back up and just smashes Nathan Cruz with that hard forearm and slaps to the chest. They're still going at it. The bugger that needs security. No one's done anything here. Where are the hardest men in England? Oh, oh, oh here they are. Go. Here's the England's hardest men. Danny Doherty and Saxon Huxley. That's right. Back out. And they're here to sort things out by uh, punching Eddie Dennis. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, whatever works. They're attacking. Oh, and Don Black is They're there. attacking Don Black. And Amir Jordan, they had a heck of a tag team match earlier on. Yeah, Don Black and Amir Jordan had no business being in that ring. So Clearly Danny Doherty... Nothing settled here. Excuse me? Disgusting chance by the fans who should be... Uh, uh. Calm yourself, calm yourself. Easy, don't, easy, don't, don't, don't get in there, Matthew, whatever you do. Don't make your shield on you. Stop it, they've paid. We've all got web feet. Anyway, no, back, not back, the back the action. Wait a minute, it's AC Drake! AC Drake! AC Drake taking the fight to Screwface! Taking the fight to Nathan Cruz! Drake has seen enough of this nonsense in his home at Newcastle! What is this, the credits? Is everyone making an appearance? And it is the pride going. of North Wrestling getting some of Screwface, who ruined our main event tonight. Drake off the ropes. Yep. Beautiful. Now get out. This is great. Get it, get it, just playing brush and get rid of Screwface. Everyone's still fighting. Drake dropped. Screwface with the lung blow. He's taking the fight outside to Saxon Huxley. This is just a brawl. This is Saturday night in Newcastle. What do we expect? Taking the big market. This is very accurate portrayal of the big market around about this time on a Saturday night in Newcastle. A kebab, a brawl, a karaoke. And O'Doherty, Huxley, Screwface and Cruz have taken a powder. Eddie Dennis, Don Black, Amir Jordan, and H.T. Drake. So a lot unresolved here at North Wrestling. Well, very unlikely. Wrestlers yeah. aligning them each other. A team that on paper is bowling so ugly, but united against common foes. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Well said. That's the only thing I can think of here. Well, that is not how we wanted to go off the air tonight with North Wrestling. But regardless, an incredible match that was scuppered by Screwface and the locker room emptied in defense of okay. Eddie Dennis. Eddie Dennis, if tonight was anything to go by, it's going to be one heck of a ride for you. There will be another day for Eddie Dennis and Screwface. So many questions. So much. Still, that we do not know. But I'm sure when we are back here in September for XOXOX, we will have some answers and we will have some incredible matches for you. For Matthew Gregg, I'm Tom Campbell. This has been North Wrestling.